You want to make money with ClickBank. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how to sign up, find your niche, find a link, post it, track it, and make some money step by step on my computer in just a second. Cool. So I'm going to be showing you how to make money with ClickBank. I love ClickBank. ClickBank is where I made my first thousand dollar day back in 2012 actually but I do about half a million dollars a month right now um, on ClickBank which sounds kind of unbelievable but I'm gonna be walking you through how you can make money with ClickBank right here in today's video so check this out I'm on ClickBank right now if we go right here see ClickBank and to go to ClickBank you just go to clickbank.com first off and the first step is you want to sign up and you need to create an account. So you click right up here and you click create account. ClickBank is gonna ask you for some information. They're gonna ask you for your name, your address, all that stuff. And they're also gonna ask you for your banking information. This is fine, ClickBank's been around for 21 years and they're run by really nice Mormon people up in Boise, Idaho that are good at accounting and they're not going to screw you out anything. It's a reputable, long-lasting, profitable company that I love working with and I've been working with them forever. And the thing is they ask for your banking information because they need to know where to pay you. Okay. So that's why. So don't be alarmed by if they're asking for your banking information. Then they'll ask for your account information. It doesn't matter what your nickname is. Your nickname is your account identifier and what you pick doesn't matter. It's not public information. So when you sign up, you'll come to a dashboard, sort of like this page. You'll have your weekly sales snapshot right here and you'll also have your daily sales snapshot right here. So this is one of my many affiliate accounts with ClickBank because I do so many different advertising things. I have a lot of accounts at this point. Let's go on to here. First, you need to choose your niche. Now, to choose your niche, you wanna go over to their marketplace. The marketplace is this little link up here, or if you're on the ClickBank homepage, you'll see the marketplace is right here, affiliate marketplace. So we'll click that marketplace link because that has all of the products which you can make money with. Now what you'll see is you could search for products, but you can also find products in the categories area on the left side. This is where you could find your niche. Now, you know, everybody in marketing and sales and stuff talks about, you know, find your niche, find your passion. First, I'm gonna give you my two cents on this, is I think niches and whatever your passion is, I think it's BS. I was actually having a discussion with uh, Allie earlier about this. You know, I love kite surfing, I love skiing. I'm not pro material. <laughs> and I don't think I'm ever gonna be pro material. So. It doesn't make sense for me to try to make a business out of kite surfing or skiing, unfortunately. You know, what does make sense for me is to make money and afford myself the freedom so that I can go skiing or kite surfing when I want to. Another thing, getting a family and all that stuff complicates this stuff. But the point is the same is I'm not a big fan of niches. I'm a big fan of just doing what makes money and then going to the other things. But let's assume that you need to find something that you're comfortable marketing. You can choose your category here. Now, if you're interested in cooking food and wine, you can click on that category and you can find products to sell that will give you commissions in the cooking food and wine category. Now, here's a great one. So we see there's a product here called Keto Resources that is about the ketogenic diet. I think a pretty good diet, but uh, I'm going to start dieting soon. But the ketogenic diet, I think, is something about reducing carbs, which are kind of a problem in our society. Now, let's say you wanted to promote that. You can make $22. Let's zoom in on this. You can make $22 per sale. Every time you recommend this product to somebody and they buy it, you make $22, which is great. You sell a couple of those. You help expose a couple of people to the ketogenic diet a day, and you're earning a full-time income. You help expose more than a couple people to the ketogenic diet a day, you're making a pretty good income. Now, what I look for just in a product is I look for what has the most popularity or what has the highest gravity. Gravity and popularity is sort of similar, but in any event, we see this product has 117 gravity. That means 117 
other people are making at least one sale of this product every single week. That means some of these people may be making hundreds of sales per day of this product. The point being, this is the indicator. How many other people are successfully selling this product is an indicator of how well it sells. Would you rather, if you were gonna start a franchise, because affiliate marketing is sort of like starting a franchise, would you rather be opening a McDonald's franchise or would you rather open a Buster's Burgers franchise? It's obvious, you wanna open a McDonald's franchise because you know that sells. You know that is making franchisees tons of money thousands of franchisees all over the world. Buster's Burgers is unproven. Everything about the business. I made the business up, but you wanna sell what's proven. And just because other people are selling it, just because other people are, have McDonald's franchises, doesn't mean that there isn't space for another one. You know, I live in Los Angeles, there are hundreds of McDonald's franchisees, but what I hear a lot of people say from scarcity mindset, is saying, oh, somebody already opened up a McDonald's in Santa Monica, you know, there isn't space for another one, you know. Dumb thinking, okay? You wanna sell what's already selling. So, let's promote this product. Now, the next step, we found our niche, we found the product or the offer we wanna promote. Now, what the next step is, is you go to this button that says promote, right there. And this is where you will get your link. Click promote, boom. And this is the account nickname from my account, you know, JC Internal 7. And you can put in tracking ID, it says optional, but let's just click generate hop links. Okay, click generate hop link and it'll generate your link. Let's say I'm posting this in an email. I wanna see how it works. So I just click tracking ID, email, and I click generate hop link. Okay, so this is my hop link. So I could highlight it like this, and click copy, or I could just click this button and it copies it. It says, you have successfully copied your hop link. We're gonna take this link and the next step is we need to post it somewhere. We need somebody to click this link and buy this product so we can make some money. Let's go get it, okay? So where I'm gonna start posting my link is the, I don't know, we're gonna use a really easy thing that everybody has, a free traffic source hidden traffic source that is under your fingertips that you can use right now. It doesn't cost any money and almost guaranteed to give you good conversions if you do it right. So we can go here and I'm gonna to go to my email and I'm gonna write an email. I'm gonna write it to a friend of mine. That's not a real email, obviously, it just says friend. But I'm gonna write in the subject line. I don't know what I'm gonna write in the subject line, but I'm just gonna say ketogenic diet, new diet, I'm trying, check it out. And what I could do is I could say, Dude, remember talking about how we were both going to lose weight? Check these results. You know, I could use, you know, a picture. I could say, you know, like I lost five pounds in the last week. This program really works. Now I'm just making up some marketing copy here. Again, don't ever say anything like that doesn't fully make sense. In this case, I didn't actually lose five pounds. But the point being, you know, if I were to send this email, I could post my link there, or I could say, or I could highlight this and click the link button, put my link in right there. I could say, check these results. Some other people lost five pounds in the last week. This program really works. That is a way you could get your link out there and people will open it and click on that ad. Now, that is a very simple way of getting your ad out there, getting your link out there and getting you a chance for people to buy it. Now, another way to actually promote this, if you don't know what to write, most programs have actual ads that are already created for you on their affiliate page. So here we are back in ClickBank and what we see is affiliate page and you can click on this link or you can even email their support and ask them, hey, I wanted to send an email to some of my friends, what should I write? So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna look at their affiliate page. They have some information here. Let's just type in seven email to receive our latest information. Let's see if they have any information. Sometimes they actually have helpful materials for affiliates. In this case, they don't. But some programs do have information you can use to promote their offer more effectively. So I'm just gonna go to the most popular products in the ClickBank marketplace. And what we see here is the Flat Belly Fix. And this product pays out almost $40 per sale and commission. And they have almost double the gravity, almost double the amount of people are selling this product compared to the other product. 
So what I could do here is I could click on their affiliate page and I could get some email swipes from these people. So it says click for email swipe, the flat belly fix. And here they give us the top creative. So if I wanted to send an email, I could say, use this subject line, one cup tomorrow morning burns three pounds of belly fat. And go to my email and I'd write that, one cup this morning burns 20 pounds of belly fat. And then I'd copy this, change out at my email with their proven email right here. If you haven't tried this, you're gonna to want to add this to your morning routine, drinking one cup of this delicious beverage, blah, 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 blah. And what I'll do then is I will change out their link for my link. Okay, so I'll click promote, I'll click email, generate hop link, copy, and I will highlight this link, and I'll just change it right there. See, I pasted my link. What URL should this go to? If you see that, it says link to web address, and I posted my ClickBank link there, then I'm gonna click OK. And there we go. Just put my initials at the bottom. That's how you could get your link out there. That's a very simple method. Now, you could also go above and beyond. You could actually write a post on Facebook. I could post the same thing. I could, you know, I could post my link in there, and I could post the same information. You know, I could say, if you haven't tried this yet, and I could post this to my friends, and it would link to the flat belly fix. So you could do a lot of things to get people to your affiliate link, see? And, and once it populates within Facebook, I can even delete that ugly link so that if people go to my post, it will have the link on the bottom already populated like that. Then all, all I would click is share. Now this is, I mean it is, the free method of getting traffic. It's completely free. But again, you probably, if you're sitting here watching this, you're probably like, eh, I feel weird about spamming my friends, right? I do, I do, I'm not sharing this. But it is, I do suggest you do it to get started. Now, the best way to do affiliate marketing is to do advertising. It's a much more scalable opportunity. Instead of making a couple hundred bucks off your friends, you could make millions of dollars off of the mass of people that probably need more help, you know, getting a flat belly, you know, I know I do, than other people. So advertising is a whole other subject. If you're interested in learning advertising, you can go to my free affiliate marketing course. I'm gonna have my assistant post it somewhere or you can just subscribe to my channel. Once you've subscribed to my channel and hit the bell, it will actually appear on my homepage, my free course on affiliate marketing. Now, the next step after somebody goes to your link, okay, and where does the link go? I'm just gonna show you where the link goes real quick. It goes to this page, which is built to convert people and make sure that it offers people something of value and makes you money, okay? Now, what we do next is we wanna actually track if our links are working and if we're selling products. So the final step is we will go, when we're in ClickBank, we will go to this area called reporting. And I'll click on reporting. And what we see here is we see we have a click that came in, it says one click for FB fix, which is the flat belly fix. Let's look at my hops, the ClickBank calls it hops by tracking ID. And what we'll see here is we have that hop we had originally sent with the identifier that says email. So it's working, and as we see, the person did not purchase. But this is how affiliate marketing is done. Now let's say you're posting your link on email, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Let's say you have multiple apps, or you're posting it in Facebook groups, or posting it in forums, or whatever you're doing. You can put an identifier so you can figure out where each link came from, and you can actually be able to tell exactly who clicked on your link, where they came from, and you can optimize your advertising that way. Let's say you, the emails you sent make you the most money you'll probably wanna focus your efforts on that email. Or let's say you had five Facebook ads telling people they could lose weight and to check out the keto jet or the flat belly fix, and only one of the ad is generating sales. You'll wanna cut the other four ads so you're left with the one winner. That's generally how it works out. And you just keep cutting the red and you figure out what marketing message work, what groups of people work the best to show your ads to. And you optimize based on that until you are making as much money as you wanna be making. Now, in my case, as you see my ClickBank account, I have all this weird junk here, you know, weird numbers and letters. And what those numbers and letters are, I actually use software and it kind of automates this process for me to figure out where each click came from and what's working. And you know, I, I have a more complex setup because I'm doing this on a much bigger 
scale than most people. I don't recommend you start out with a click tracker like volume or click tool. I recommend you just start out with posting an ad or putting up a post and getting people to just be clicking on your affiliate link. Just start baby steps at a time. Get your first commissions and then get more until your business starts to become bigger. Don't put the cart before the horse. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe to my channel and go through my training course and you know you can see how to take it one step at a time. Boom! I just showed you how to make money with ClickBank. It's easy sign up, niche, link, post, and track. Not too complicated, but really diving into things and learning how to actually do write the ads or do the advertising or do the copywriting is a little bit more of a complex thing. And I have a training course on my site you can sign up for. There should be a link in the description if you want to get started with that. Now what I recommend you do is first subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're aware of when I put out more videos. I'm constantly putting out videos on marketing and starting an online business. And also click that like button and if you have any questions or have any topic requests, put that in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.